What is going on everybody? Welcome back to an episode of Fishy Vibes TV. I'm gonna be doing this episode a little differently than I usually do. The video you're about to see has already been filmed and you're gonna see that in a little bit. So yeah, just something a little bit different. Um, this episode, this video is gonna be, this video is just insane. It's so, it's so weird and crazy. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about it. Uh, it's a quick intro. I think you guys are definitely gonna enjoy today's video. I'm sure some of you guys will be just as shocked as I was and kind of still am just because it's so, so crazy. Um, I don't even see how it's possible. This is kind of a shorter video because there's a bunch of footage that was lost. I don't know where it went. Somehow I lost it or deleted it by accident, but I caught four other fish. One was a pretty big pick roll and there was three other bass. So uh, I don't know what happened to the footage. I'm kind of pissed. Um, other than that, it was still a decent day of fishing though. Before we get into the video, if you guys are new here, make sure you hit the like button. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell so you guys know exactly when we put a new video out. With all that said, we'll hop into the video and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. So we just got to the lake, got the kayak all set up. Um, let me show you guys what I'm gonna be using real quick. Uh, it's pretty hot out today, um, but it's cooling down now. So I got this uh, sauce swimmer with a little 3 8 bolt weight. This should be good in all the grass that's here and all the lily pads, so I'm gonna be throwing that. And then for any of the open water that there is, I'm gonna be throwing chatterbait. Just a goon squad clickbait with another sauce swimmer on the back. So pretty simple. Um, and then when the sun goes down, maybe I'll throw some hot water. Um, we'll see. But just a lot of a lot of grass, a lot of lily pads. And there's there's a few spots that have some open water. So um, there are really big fish in here though. Like big pickerel and really big bass. So we might have saw like literally an eight pounder last time we were here. Can't imagine I catch one today, but maybe. You never know. So that's what we're hoping for. So we gotta paddle a little bit. We have a little ways to go. Well, Kelly just said she saw a big bass, so we're gonna take a few casts right here. We're not even like the main part of the lake yet, so. Oh, maybe it's an alligator. All right. Stressed out, like cranberry or something? Want a bird? No, I had a bird and I don't want them. I think you're really exhausted. Your eyes are closing, huh? What do we do? What are you doing here, bird? Kelly went to cast and hit this bird out of the air, fell in the water, and now he obviously not, like he's a pet bird and he has like a band. So I guess we're gonna try to find out, I don't know, whose bird it is. I'm, I'm just confused. It's good. So I don't know what to do, but we'll figure it out. I like, had to get him. He's big enough to get eaten by like a big bird. No, I know. That's amazing. That's like, I can't even understand what just happened. Bird, well, welcome to it, bird. Okay, well, we just made it to land. So the plan is I'm gonna carry my shirt, put the bird in, and then carry the bird to the car, and then we'll go from there. There is a band on the bird, so hopefully we can identify its owner. Hopefully it doesn't fly away. Hi. We'll probably have a water temperature. <laughs> he fell back in the water, so he tried to fly off and he just couldn't fly, so. We're gonna take care of him. I just don't understand the chances of hitting a bird, a parakeet, out of the air. Th I mean, thank God he didn't drown. I'm just gonna go grab the kayaks myself and let the bird hang out with Kelly in the, in the truck. Hi, buddy. It's okay. Careful. Oh. Careful. Don't bite me. You tried to bite me before. Okay, so we just got home and the bird is just doing his own little thing right now. And there he is, just being a bird. Being a cool little bird. It was a little band. We're not gonna name him because I don't. I mean, we're not gonna keep him. He does look tiny, right? Like a little puffball. We think he's a baby because, like, he has a little band. He has the band on, um, and like the last two numbers are the year. Apparently, that the bird is born. We're just gonna see if we can find out who the owner is and if there is an owner, or I don't know something. We're just gonna try to figure something out. If something exciting happens, I'll let you guys know and I'll give you a nice little update. So I'll see you guys when and if that happens. Always on your finger. Oh, oh, big fly guy. <laughs> Look at his feet. Alright guys, it's day two. We're at the same place. We're just trying to get back to the spot. Today we're going to do our best to not hit a bird out of the sky and catch some fish.
All right, we're finally approaching a good spot where it opens up a little bit. So let's see what we can do. Day two, same spot. Avoid birds and catch big bass. That's the goal. Oh my arms are burning. It's actually so deep there. Maybe we should go a little bit that way more, like to the left. Let's let's try it. I've had luck with a chatterbait here in the past. Uh, I think well, caught like one fish, but still, you know, it was a good bass though. I think. Well, most of the bass in here are good. Oh, see that felt like a fit. Oh, it is a fish. Oh my god. I don't know. Probably pickerel. That's a big bass. That is a big bass. Holy shit. Oh my god. He like missed it, I think, and then came back for it. Damn. It's a good like two and a half, three maybe. Well, that guy. Fat dude. Nice. I know, right? He's good. Probably like two and a half. Like, look how round he is. Look how fat that guy is. Still, like, not even too big, but sh short and stubby. Nice. Oh, I got him in the tongue. He's all right. Let's get him back. Nice. All right. Oh. Ooh, that felt good. Wow. He, like, hit, and then I wasn't sure if it was a fish or not. And then he hit again, so. Right, way to go. Huh? Oh, Jesus. No. I, oh, I, I don't know. Oh, God. Is he big or is he just running at me? Oh, that's a good bass. No, oh, he's, he's tiny. Come here, buddy. <sighs> so small, but so fat and chunky. So. Just gotta still try to find a big one. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, he's so small. Small little bass. This is probably the smallest bass I've ever caught out of here. Okay. Still, like, just fat. Short and fat. Let's get him back. Okay, wow. All right, little update. We ended up keeping the bird. His name's Charlie, and he's part of the family now, so. So yeah, just absolutely insane. Um, I don't have more footage of Charlie the bird because I'm now up in the Poconos and he's back at home. If you guys want more Charlie content, just let me know down below in the comments and um, I'll make sure to include Charlie and maybe all my animals in more videos because I know people love animal videos and I have a bunch of animals. So you guys let me know if you wanna see more animal content on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one.